In this area, agricultural land is being developed faster than in any other part of the rural southwest. More than a million acres of new country is being turned into farms every year. Two bulldozers working a heavy chain can flatten up to 1,000 acres a day. The time is to put up or shut up. If we don't heal the land, then what have we got to offer our future generation? That's the white kids, the black kids alike. What have we got to offer them that's going to be of good value for them? If we don't heal this land now, time's up. Mother Earth is down to her knees. Mother Earth, that budger, that land, is begging. I need help. I need help now. Time's up. After getting this farm in the 70s, um, I had to set about clearing it. In that period of time, we had some devastating wind storms and uh, I could see my farm blowing away. This is not a healthy landscape anymore. Wherever you look, there's the, the dying paddock tree, the, the swamp that's looking pretty sick. The, um, the farmhouse that's never actually been done up and, and been made habitable. Humankind has forgotten that we depend upon the plants and the animals for the ground we till, the air we breathe and the water that we drink. And the world that we're now facing with climate change is telling us that those fundamental things that we need for our existence are linked ultimately to a healthy, natural, biodiverse world. It's got to stop. We've got to turn it around. We've got to do it different. If we don't get involved in this stuff, business as usual is not in the best interest of Australia. You often see environmental projects uh, in, you know, that are really never going to happen. This one is actually happening. Gondwana Link is an environmental project restoration that we want to be able to see from space and it involves the reconnection of the Kerry country in the west down near Margaret River through to Kalgoorlie. We call it Kerry to Kalgoorlie. Southwest Western Australia is one of the 25 global biodiversity hotspots on the planet. They're hotspots because we've cleared 70% of the vegetation and we have a large number of our species under threat. A lot of plants are restricted to this area. A lot of them are suffering from uh, fragmentation of the landscape and, and, and other factors which are threatening them. And as a result of that, the southwest is now essentially facing what we would refer to as a biodiversity meltdown. Our objective, whilst maintaining productivity, is to restore bush on those areas that were marginal for agriculture. So it's all very well to have this massive big vision, but you've got to get down to the nuts and bolts in doing it. And for us, the the first nut and bolt has been this 70 kilometre gap between the Fitzgerald River and Stirling Range National Parks. The Fitzgerald National Park and the Stirling Range National Park are two incredible mini biodiversity hotspots, but they've been sitting as isolated islands where they were once connected. It's important that we have connectivity across a landscape so that plants and animals themselves can move across that landscape over time. So the Fitz Sterling's concept is about rebuilding those linkages and Gondwana Link sits right through the middle of that concept. It's like creating a biodiversity superhighway where today we have a hostile landscape unable to continue supporting the rural enterprises and the livelihoods of people. People outside of the farming industry just assume that we're here just to take all we can out of the land, but the theory is to hand our farm on to the next generation in a better state than we got it. The impetus for the work we're doing actually comes from the farmers. It's the farmers that are, are recognising the issues and really they're inviting us onto the land to assist them with their, their, their uh, land care outcomes. Farmers are really interested in 
their land and really care for it, because if they don't care for it, they're not going to get productivity from it. Greening Australia understands that we have to strike a balance between production and conservation, and I think most landholders in this region share the same view. I think the evidence is, is quite clear that um, farmers who are onto their environmental management are also the top, tend to be the top producing farmers. Um, and I think that's probably all that needs to be said. Gondwana Link, it's a very big idea, uh, and it's an idea about putting into practice what people have been talking about and, and writing about for some considerable time. We need world-class vision and concepts to repair those landscapes, and Gondwana Link is that vision. We've defined a very clear strategy on what we want to achieve. Land access, we need to be able to get access to third-party land and our own land to do good work. Environmental restoration, the restoration of the land for species and biodiversity. Uh, land management, to make sure we're a good citizen in the landscape and community engagement. We have to be able to engage community, both uh, Noongar and uh, the local farming community, in order to uh, be able to affect the changes that we want to make. We've got to access land, so that's the first part of the, of the challenge, and that's obviously a big challenge, and so we're doing that either by buying or working with farmers. Um, then you've got a massive restoration task. Restoration is using science and using practice to rebuild natural ecological processes. What we're trying to do is to get a, a suite of the different species and the different structural layers. So we've got ground covers and middle shrubs and tall shrubs and big trees. And by having all of those layers, getting that vertical integration, you then get a system that supports more animals more fresh water and better soils and air quality. Ironically, we're actually uh, using the same equipment that was used to uh, clear the bush to restore the bush. We're talking about tractors, we're talking about agricultural cedars, but those that have been adapted by Greening Australia so that they deliver all the different kinds of species and, and seed types that are needed to, to create five-star biodiversity vegetation. Our vision in the Fitzsterling region is a long-term vision. It's about long-term management of those properties into the future. There's a need to keep managing these landscapes. We need to have people in the landscapes. Conservation is really about people, not just about plants. And so if you can engage in a meaningful way the communities in which you're operating, you've got a very good chance of that project being successful in the long run. That's the way in which we achieve our objectives, is by getting right alongside people, rolling up our shirt sleeves and, and getting stuck into the job. So I think the most satisfying bit of our work in Fitzsterling has been the response of the, the Noongar community. We want to be a part of that journey and I think the greeting team has done it really right. They followed the protocols right from word go. They made the contact with the Indigenous peoples. It gives us as Noongar people the opportunity to reconnect to our dreaming out on country. So it's um, people and nature living together and getting a net gain across both social, economic as well as environmental indicators. We only get certain chances in life to, um, to do big gutsy things. Fortunately, some of us over time build up enough wealth to leave a mark that is beyond maybe ourselves or our family, but a mark for humanity. If we don't pull this country back into health, it's, you know, it's a pretty dismal future. And, you know, I've got a, a, a four-year-old boy, I want him to have a good future. Most high net worth individuals will clearly understand that they get approached to contribute to thousands of causes every year. Clearly this is a cause that you know, is very significant for this planet. I think a choice to invest in this landscape here in the Gondwanaling project in southwestern Australia would be a very good choice that's going to return a very, very good dividend that anybody is going to feel real good about. You know, I've been alive 83 years and I have come to the realisation that that old phrase, 
it's better to give than receive is absolutely correct. And my wealth is really the reward I get from giving. So if anybody out there is, wants to invest, not only will you be investing it to help the, the land, but to help us heal the land. Because along the way, we want to heal ourselves as well. I made a lot of money from this planet. I think I need to give something back to the planet. Simple as that. I, I'm incredibly excited about it. You don't get many opportunities to really make a difference at this scale. So we'll be able to look back at a satellite image in 20 years and see massive change. I think that's something that will make us incredibly proud. There is nothing else currently on the planet that comes anywhere near the scale, the vision and the potential benefits that Gondwana Link will deliver. If we're really concerned about the world we're leaving behind for our, our kids and our grandkids, we really have to act. None of us have any choice. Oh, dear.